One of the questions that I get asked the absolute most is why do weapon tricks? Like what's the actual purpose in martial arts tricking? Uh, whether that's with weapons, whether that's with the different kind of kicks that you may have seen me do. Why on earth would you take a weapon and let it go in battle? And the short answer of that is uh, you wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> and the long answer is a little bit different, but I wanted to give you guys an opportunity to uh, have that question answered for the many of you that have asked me that at one point or another. So I uh, hope you enjoy this new style of video. I'm not going to do all the crazy stuff that you normally see me do. Still might do some B-roll just because <clears throat> uh, weapon tricking is fun. <laughs> um, but uh, let's answer the question of why would you learn weapon tricks? What's up guys, this is the old ninja wearing aviators and a super row hat and welcome to the modern ninja. Now, guys, to be honest, I couldn't, <laughs> I can't do a video without that intro. It's just, I love it so much, even if it's kind of cringy. But uh, the topic of the day is why use weapon tricks? And there's a couple different reasons. Well, the most common one uh, and obvious one is gonna be for fun, right? You've gotten to a point in your martial arts where you're pretty confident about your, your skills, you're confident about your ability to protect yourself and your family and your friends and you know protect you and yours. And so now you wanna add on to it for whatever reason, for you know, just to have a good time. And so enjoying the weapon practice is a fun practice or uh, is a fun activity. But I feel like that's not really it. It doesn't really <clears throat> uh, explain that it does have some actual benefits to your martial arts career as a whole uh, and so we're going to go on to the second one which is the competition aspect which yes again not not the best reason i think you sh anybody should do tricking but it's a really good one it allows you to compare yourself with other competitors around the world it even allows you to go and do professional sports whether that ends up being you know be, you know being sponsored to go to uh different kinds of competitions all around the nation or around the world <clears throat> paid to do brand deals um work with you know people like century martial arts or ultimate weapons or a lot of different people oh i caught it <laughs> um but it opens up that opportunity for you to be able to do that which is really cool which along down the road oftentimes can lead to uh, jobs like being a stunt performer or a, a movie fight performer things like that of that nature however again that's not the most important reason i think people should do martial arts tricking the third and final reason i think everyone should learn at least a little bit is simply weapon proficiency this is i don't know if it's a term that i came up with for this reason but it's a term i've been using for a little over a decade now for those of you that don't know i've been actually doing martial arts for 22 years as of may 2024 so um been doing it for quite a while and been teaching it for uh 15 years i think um doing that math on top of my head but i think it's 15 years maybe it's 16. <clears throat> um but i've been in the martial arts space for a while and what i've noticed is when you start taking your martial arts skills right past just the physical uh functional staff tricks or weapon tricks in general uh, and start expanding by doing the harder things right you open up a world that allows you to be more uh, unique and unpredictable in your fighting style as well as your ability to recover and just overall understand your weapon uh, here's one of the best ways that i know how to explain it obviously uh, everyone can strike a staff but things happen in combat they might get hit might break it might um, you might trip and fumble and, and drop it, let go, it gets knocked out of your hands. Having that, that tricking mentality, having that tricking ability allows you to recover from whatever stumble that you may have been in without any issue versus not being able to do that. For example, I could drop this and kick it back up because I've practiced it, right? I can do it fairly consistently here on camera. I'm not even cutting this video very much, right? And so because of that, I know that if I'm in a situation where the weapon gets knocked out of my hands or I drop it or I fall or whatever, and I drop my weapon, 
I can get my bow staff back just like that because my reactions are trained, right? I, I know that if the bow staff is going down, I know where my foot needs to be to hit it to pop back up. And that kind of thing applies to other things. Maybe uh, you're, you get it partially knocked out of your hand and so you just are able to finish your hand roll and keep going on your combat strikes and whatever, you know, the next moves you're doing. Now, um, <clears throat> again, this is anecdotal, so this is my experience, but over the years, I've noticed that you find the best um, overall combatants when you get, when they are able to expand their knowledge. And you find more long-term, lifelong martial artists when they are able to train and have fun with it, both the first reason and the third reason that I talked about. Uh, and honestly, competition goes into that as well. So personally, I think every martial, martial artist should train weapon tricks it, it, simply because, man, I can't talk today. Sorry guys, I'm sick. But personally, I think every martial artist should train weapon, weapon tricks simply because it's good for them. It's, a, it's good to well round all those edges. Now I'm not saying everyone needs to spend as much time as I have in perfecting it and doing all the crazy stuff and going to all the different competitions. No, you don't have to do all that. But lear learning how to do hand rolls, learning how to simply, you know, release and grab it and maybe even uh, do neck rolls or whatever, allow you to control your weapon and understand your weapon more than the average person that doesn't do that. And so, in my opinion, it's always a benefit for that reason. <clears throat> Excuse me. But let me know what you guys think. I'm very curious to see if you think that weapon tricks is actually worth it. It might be, in your opinion, it might not be. I'd love to have the conversation, but remember, let's keep it respectful just because, you know, we're all martial artists here. Let's just talk and have a good time talking and nerding about nerding out about martial arts. And of course, if you want to see more videos like this, drop a like on the video so I know you like this kind of content and I will happily do more because I could talk about martial arts for hours. But until next time, thank you guys for watching because my name's DJ Moore, this is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Be the modern ninja but left off. Just know I'm dangerous. I'm on that Bruce Lee flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pink Anybody want to smoke your whole Caribbean looking grim Out here flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to